Hello Salesforce developers, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about identity resolution and how to use it in Data Cloud. My name is Danielle Laregi, and I'm a senior developer advocate at Salesforce. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you what identity resolution is and how it's used. Then I'm gonna take you through matching and reconciliation rules. And finally, I'm gonna show you a live demo of how to do this in Data Cloud. Data Cloud is a powerful tool that can help you unify your data across multiple systems. Unified profiles in Data Cloud combine data from all of your ingested sources into a single profile based on identity resolution rules and rule sets. However, to create those unified individual profiles, your data needs to first be mapped correctly, which we have shown you how to do in a previous video. I recommend looking at our mapping data streams video if you have not already done so. Meet Katherine Schmidt, a customer of Solar Circles who has purchased solar panels from Solar Circles in the past. Solar Circles has data about Catherine and multiple systems, a customer profile in Commerce Cloud, Marketing Cloud, and more. However, each system has different information about her, like different email addresses and phone numbers. We call these unique pieces of information data contact points. Data Cloud allows you to establish a relationship between Catherine's disconnected records. First, the connectors that we showed you in previous videos bring in the needed data. Then, your data mappings to Data Cloud's data model allow for multiple data sources to be reasoned together. The Identity Resolution Engine matches on key pieces of PII customer data, such as first name, last name, email address, phone number, and postal address. Identity Resolution then resolves it for you based on the rules you establish and configure. And finally, the unified profile is created. All right, now let's look at Data Cloud so we can see how all of this works in action. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to access identity resolutions in a Data Cloud org and how to create identity resolutions, rules, and rule sets. All right, so here we are in our Solar Circles Data Cloud org. I'm going to go up here to our tabs and click the identity resolution tab and it's going to bring me to our page where we can start creating our first identity resolutions rule. Okay, to create our very first identity resolution rule, I'm gonna go over here and click new. And then we have a couple of options that we have to select here on this screen. The first one is which data space we want to associate our identity resolution rule with. Now, in a previous video, we explained to you what data spaces are and how to use them, and we also created this Solar Circles USA data space. For this particular video, I'm going to stick with the default data space. Now, under Primary Data Model Object, I'm going to select Individual, and I'm going to keep the rule set ID filled blank for this particular rule, and then I'm going to click Next. Okay, on this next screen, we need to enter in a rule set name. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a name for this rule set. And then I'm going to leave run jobs automatically enabled so that this can run automatically. And then I'm gonna go over here and click save. Okay, now we've seen how to create our very first identity resolution rule set. Now let's look at how to create an identity resolution matching rule. Okay, the next thing that I need to do for this rule set is configure my very first matching rule. Now this matching rule is gonna be what is used to match up all of the individual profiles into unified individual profiles. So I'm gonna go over here and click configure. Okay, now we're going to click configure again to create our very first matching rule. And here we have a few pre-built matching rules that we can select from. I'm going to choose fuzzy name and normalized email. And then go down here and click next. 
So here there's already some pre-built criteria that's building out this matching rule. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decode this uh, criteria that's right here on the screen. So let's look at the first line. The first line says we're going to look at the individual data model object, and then we're going to look at the first name field on that individual data model object. Now, if we find records with the same first name and it's a fuzzy or medium precision match, as well as if we find an individual with a last name that has an exact match, looking at the same data model object, and then we're going to look at a different data model object, which is the contact point email, and then we're going to look at the email address field, and we're going to perform an exact normalized match. So when all three of these criteria are met, a unified profile is going to get created. Okay, so we're going to go over here and click Next. And we have the option to add more matching rules. We're not going to add any more matching rules on this screen. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and click Save and save our matching rule. OK, now after this identity resolution job starts running, we'll be able to see some details over here under Resolution Summary about the total unified profiles that got created as a result of running this job, the total consolidation rate, the number of match source profiles, as well as the number of known unified profiles and anonymous unified profiles. To help you continue your learning about identity resolution, I've linked a few resources here for you. We would love for you to stay connected with us. There are multiple ways in which you can stay connected with us. The first is going to our developer.salesforce.com website. The second is using our dev community. You can also follow us on Twitter using at Salesforce devs. You're already tuned into YouTube. This is one of the other ways that you can connect with us. And then we also have our LinkedIn profile as well. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, Salesforce developers. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.